It's Ingrid with Care 2D, and I am here today with a project share of a happy mail swap that I have going on with the lovely Alice. Um, go check out my Instagram and you can find her, but I'll go ahead and link all her information down below. Um, but anyways, she if you guys don't know her, she's like one of the sweetest people that um, I've met. That's one of the great things about doing swaps is you meet some really awesome people. So anyways, um, I kind of went a little overboard with this swap um, because she's really sweet. I met her probably like a couple years ago where I kind of knew of her. And um, anytime anybody asked for anything, she was like the first one to volunteer. And so I wanted to make something special for her. So I started with um, this little book that I made. so cute. I hope she loves it. I used um, Maggie Holmes. I know she loves Maggie Holmes, so I used a lot of the Maggie Holmes. I think I mixed like all the collections, um, so I, I don't think, I think I tried to stick with Flourish, but I think I have like Bloom and Confetti in here as well, and Carousel. So anyways, um, I did some sewing. I love how this turned out. It's got a little Velcro, and I've been wanting to use Velcro for forever. I'm gonna put this down and then you open it up. I love this so much. I can't wait for her to get it. Um, this was actually inspired by her. She did some stickers like this where she painted on the sticker sheets and then used them as backgrounds. And so I did kind of the same thing. And I put these on with um, like little pop dots. I don't know if you can tell there or not, but um, that way she can take them off and use the ephemera. I know she likes handmade ephemera, so here's this one, and I um, hand wrote her name and just did some little decorations. And then here, um, where it says pool, I have my little, um, currently a little letter to her, and I just decorated that. And then here, um, this is a pocket, and so I made these two little bookmarks. We'll start with that one. How cute. You guys know I love tickets. And so again, I backed it on um, the paper. So what I did is I just took some cardstock and then I kind of like drew all over it and then cut it out into shapes. So, you know, if you ever are looking for a, um, a certain color or something, but you can't find any in your paper collection, that's a great way to make it yourself and you can add whatever colors you want to coordinate exactly with the project that you're working on. And um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll see I'm using these enamel beads throughout and I'm completely obsessed with them. So here I just layered some more ephemera, some, I used a lot of crepe paper, that's my newest um, obsession these days. Here's the, the second one and again it's tickets and these tickets I got like at a, I think it was like an antique store and they're like, I have a huge uh, roll of it and it's all like vintage and I love them. And again, the enamel dots and some sparkly um, gold flakes there. I think these came out really cute. And then here again, and I know, like I said, Alice loves handmade ephemera. That was one of her things. So almost all of this stuff she can pull up and reuse again. And look at this little um, stork, he's so cute. And again, it's backed with a, a pop dot and so she can um, move it. And then here I just decorated this page, again, some crepe paper. Here's another way that I did with some cardstock and I just added some metallic gold paint to it. And then I sewed, I, I finally took out my sewing machine and I used it a lot for this. Again, these are just pop dots so she can pull them out, but <laughs> this is has to be my favorite right here. Pom poms are my weakness. And um, I just love the way that that one came out and this one's so cute too, these little loose pom poms. For a long time I didn't know what to do with those and then finally I used them. Oops, let's close this. Isn't that cute? I can't wait for her to get it. So we'll put that to the side. Um, let's see, I'll do this one next. I made her a little um, tag album. I know she loves trim, so she can take this off and use it if she wants. Um, and here's her name. Again, I hand wrote it and I did some stitching. 
Here's the A, Charm. I used lace and crepe paper and then this trim from Hobby Lobby. And here's this one, it says Smitten. And again, I use those pom-poms. Uh, you guys saw me use this trim, I got it at Hobby Lobby. There's my enamel dots, or and actually they're like gems or something from Michaels. Um, anyways, they're awesome. Here, um, again, more palms, a crepe um, flower, and I think this one I did using a tutorial from um, Lily of, I think it's Crafting with Liller. She has a great tutorial on how to do this. Um, she's got a great channel, so check her out. I did some like heps, like, you know, just random stitching. <gasps> Look at this, I just made her a little uh, sequin baggie. This is great. Does everybody else love sequin like I do? Okay, here is another one. I layered a bunch of crepe paper. I told you guys I'm into crepe paper and the sewing. And I love how these little pieces stick out like this. It's just so whimsical. Again, more of those little pearls. Again, more, this is that another one of the trims from Hobby Lobby. I had these in my, um, I have a stack of things like to give out for Happy Mail and I thought these were cute, the colors went. And then um, here's just some little, some little die cuts and I actually have some more that need to go in there but um, it's just some little things that I added in there. And then I used a top Target dollar spot top pocket, blah, 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 blah. that was a tongue twister, right here and so that's what I'm adding on there. I hope she loves it. <laughs> so cute. And then um, this tutorial I got from, I think it's um, Craft Purge, and she got it from someone else. And I can't remember who it is, but it's the cutest little box. Look at this. And I shared it on my Instagram stories and it's coming apart because I packed it completely full. I was actually gonna do a giveaway and give the whole thing away and then I decided to give it to Alice instead. Um, but I might still do one, but the only thing is I would change this. So for Alice, I'm gonna wrap it in a bow so it'll stay together. But I think if I'm gonna make it this packed, it needs to, the lid needs to be a little longer. So I'll show you guys. I love this, so cute. So this comes off and you guys can see, use a lot of trim and, and goodies and again, trim and uh, crepe paper. And so this opens up like this and the box is supposed to, there it goes, it's supposed to like stay upright. So um, since it opens like this, I went ahead and decorated it like so if I'm opening it facing me. And then again, some handmade ephemera. Again, all of this is using the Maggie Holmes. These are really cute. And this one, oh, I guess I'll show you guys the decorating and you guys can see I just did clusters of the ephemera. I did my little Michael's uh, beads and then on this one I used some silk, um, it's like chiffon, it's layered on top of some more crepe paper. And I'll start with the first one is I did this little um, clips. Again, I used more of the silk chiffon. On this one I used some trims. On this one, I used a glassine bag, and it's two, I don't think I closed it, hang on. So see, like all this stuff, she'll be able to reuse, even this one with the staples. She could just take the staple out and reuse it. I thought these came out so adorable. Like at that little squirrel. The neighborhood that I live in right now, um, the squirrels are crazy, and they're all over the place, and so if you're riding your bike, they like run out in front of the street um, or in the cars that they're like little like suicidal squirrels. They're just like super hyper. Um, anyways, that's what that reminds me of. But um, I thought these were really cheerful and summery and sweet. 
And I just backed them on some cardstock again using the pop dots so that she can easily remove them and take them off. Who loves this sound? Isn't that great? A little gold paper clip here. Um, these I think I stapled so I won't take them out but you can see them since it's see-through but I made um, four little rosettes using crepe flowers and then I just um, layered I think most of this is flourish the flourish collection and I used a little enamel uh, bead or whatever on each one and then this one oh my gosh I love that bow and I can't open this because I stapled it but I just these are paper clips and on each paper clip I don't know if you guys can see there I did a little metal um, heart so it's like it dangles off the edge on each of these and this one has trim with a um, tickets and an enamel bead this one has the same trim but in the pink with a page flag, a flower, and a button. And this one's the page flag, um, a flower from the collection, a little word that says embark, and then a um, enamel bead. And then I had this one, but it didn't fit. And this one I did the same thing so she can remove this and use it. I know that um, she really wanted um, handmade ephemera, so again, um, this one I think came out really sweet as well. I just layered some circles on top of a rosette flower and I don't know if you can see on the camera but I did uh, uh, stickles all the way around the edge so it just gave it a little bit more whimsy. And then here's some more of that trim from Hobby Lobby, my enamel pieces, and then a cluster of of the kit and underneath here the paper that I used it's actually two pieces of paper and then it's sewn on so she can take that out and use it as well and as well as any of the the other papers that I have so that is it I hope that you guys enjoyed it and um, check back soon I have a bunch of swaps going on right now so I'll be posting them thanks again for watching and spending your day with me talk to you later bye bye